The Phantom of S Cedar Steel. Cedar Steel. Cedar Hill is 1980. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. I find it really interesting that they got um, a lot to do. They go they mm -hmm. go between time time changes in the story. Really cool. How we're playing kind of in the past. Right on time. You gotta keep it down. Be be nice. Hey, right on time. Time okay. to get cooking. <laughs> that was weird. Right on time. Who says it like that? Weirdo. Weird haircut. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. Alright. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Let's do it. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I, I spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like I, a died, I died day. a lot of times in Dead by Daylight. A lot of murders <clears throat> for show. And yes, show. I had some help from my uh, assistant. I ain't please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> hey, wow. we get that the DVD. This is. I gotta claim my <laughs> stuff still. This is amazing. I'm I'm honored. You wanna. Wear the stripes, you gotta earn the rights. I hold on a second. I got I got I gotta figure out these guys' names again. Okay, so Linda, that's Chris. Linda. Sam, okay. So Sam is the son of the original, uh the cop at the beginning of the game. Why do I only have three characters? Okay. So I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah. So Dad's never exactly been stoked. Okay, about Sher that. Sheriff Cream, his but dad, Sam's to... dad. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People He's still alive. Really but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Uneasy. Stone's victims were real people. Ooh, let's be uneasy. Be spicy. Stone's victims were... real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. You're trying to guess and you're you trying to maximize our chances of dying, girl. I'll just prove, fuck it. No drama here, no drama. I don't like drama. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So let's not fuck it up. <laughs> she don't give a fuck. She just wants to film. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Ooh, we get to explore. Look around the garage, then talk to Lynn. Okay. Cool. Dude, this is a garage. Oh my god, this is nice. It's like a bedroom. Murder Mill. Murder Mill script by Christine yeah, Gordon. Copyright 1980. So we're looking for Frank Stone references. 
We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frankstone. The mill's a pretty yeah, huge place. Too. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Jamie, hospital call, getting out. automobile. I can't wait. <laughs> Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it, it goes interview. into the mindset of the workers. People were depressed. There were suicides. Ooh. At the mill? Not at the mill, I but like an item. people who worked there or got, well, I got stuck. Off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour sure no sad to there see are go. A articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. By Howard it's just a hunch. Yeah, at least it's a Back for the memories of those murdered uh, premises by four. I pulled some of these today too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders. And the Dude, he grabbed that aggressively. Frank Stone. The grids of Killer Stone comes. 1960 at Cedar Hills. Price to make sense of uh, recent events. Cedar Steel Mill. More disturbing details are starting to emerge about the man at the center of the scandal. 36 year old machinist. He's 36. He looks like he's in his 60s. What the hell? Frank Stone, who was shot dead by police during a violent altercation last Friday. Sam's dead. Stone, who our own sheriff, leaking multiple unsolved appearances over the last three years, has been fired by those who knew him as a loner, creep, and oddball. Shocking are the growing rumors that Stone was taken on by Cedar Steel and its owners, the Tester family, despite a prior police record for violence. Cedar Steel, such a hard word to say. Cedar Steel, Cedar Steel. Frank Stone committed several murders prior to those okay carried out at the Steel Frank murder. Stone stuff. Hmm. Oracle of the Omniverse. It was through my own practices, learned from my journeys through the American interior, that I successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize other cedar, cedar hills, one beyond the veil of our reality. This little town seemed to so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Callahan family still owned the drugstore, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Here he was in a healthy middle age. Life I knew he had never reached. Is that the clown? Nah. I drew two conclusions far out from my meditative voyage. One, that every journey through life offers almost incalculable vari variations, and while we may each have only finite possibilities on our own journeys, there may be other journeys taken by mere versions of ourselves that visit all destinations. Two, the different planes of reality are not so much separate rivers running in parallel as they are interconnected tributaries following a uh, flowing to a single vast ocean of experience and possibility. To explore this idea further, we must consider some very interesting people claiming there are multiple versions of people and objects across different realities. Ooh, you can put the tape in. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, Mac. Oh, Tom Holt's the one from this from that night. I don't reckon I ever will again. <laughs> Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, He's dude. Tom was weird. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. Hell, but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green. Ain't it better? He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. 
And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were I feel like he was some he was involved, bro. There's no way. Oh, he was so oblivious past. to what was going on. I wonder what these trinkets are for. I think it's just collectibles. Huh. I wonder what happens when we collect them all. Maybe something. Is there anything else I need to see? The fake hand. Available on vinyl and cassette. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Obsession with Frankstone is intense. I or should I? Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. <laughs> but they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. Nobody's listening to his concerns. What is all this? Mm -mm -mm. I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Oh, boys, all that's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Just gonna go oh. with the flow. Yes! Huh? Cause that's what everyone wants. Really? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the Dude, it'd be so cool if it's they released Frank Stone as a killer, so, but it's kind of like, it kind of like seems like okay, a trapper. People, company move. But, oh, maybe it'd be like a skin for the, the trapper. Let's I think, go, let's I think go. they have that. I think they're releasing a, a skin for it. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Oh, hmm. no. Interesting. You want to get yourself killed? Come film with us at Frank Stone Theater Murder Mill. Theater Steel Murder Mills. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Oh, yep. that looks so cool. There it is. You see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. Action time, baby. Let's go. That's why it's secret. Ooh, some Dead by Daylight vibes. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. I love it. Ready? I love how they add those little oh, um, Easter egg. First step's a doozy. He's wearing the, he's wearing the shirt. This way. An entrance to the storm drain. Please. Yeah. Bye. 
It's really exciting because I want to. I'm gonna play do a pl playthrough through the quarry again. Actually, kill people. I I love group I events. Oh, I love these kind of games. Be the quarry. Okay. Until dawn Two remaster coming out. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun, guys. One easy and one hard. Lots of playthroughs They're coming both through. Medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like so I gotta finish the Silent Hill right 2 playthrough as well. It'll take us pretty More's close coming to soon. my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Oh, I gotta make a decision yeah, here? Oh no. So, which way? It's a decision point. Uh, let's be a little. Let's be a little risky. Let's cross. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So we should cross. Yeah. Someone's gonna fall. Skill check. Oh no, skill check. I thought there was gonna be a skill check. It's supposed to go fall. Dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Ooh. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? There's no way she heard that from that far away. Come on now. Who's that? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Uh, cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. Ooh, we get close. Crossing, use L to bounce. Oh, don't fall. Dang, this girl does not have good balance. Bounce again. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. We got right here. Damon. Oh, we got another piece. Add to the middle finger. He tells me I must not doubt what I dream of. Ooh, it's like the it's like the finger that clown cuts when he does his mori. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, we can jump down right here. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft with whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but 
At least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. Ha! Flashlights. Uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? I can blind some killers. Yeah. Use some trolling. Ah, well, Ooh, a pallet. The flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. Someone's always watching. Dun dun dun. Find a way into the middle. Pennywise pops out of nowhere. Hello, Georgie. Pennywise a talking clown. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? Wait, hold on a second. There was one time. Hold on a second. Got some. Maybe some collectibles in here? Indeed. The Wraith. Who would have left this here? Nice. Oh, got an update. No man's sky. Cool. I knew there was something over there. Wait, can you actually grab them? I wonder why they just have them there. Are we going into that? Or what's over here? Wait, ooh, is there something over here? I'm going in here. Ooh, there is something over here. Are they following me? No. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, huh, you're a little key. He Casting shed. Better get back to Robert. Oh, right. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Hey guys, I just uh, wanted to wander off, you know. Go exploring, buy myself a key. Okay, so when I was little and he was really drunk, even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. What's up here? I got that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night. Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Well, yeah, because he, got, he, he got, he got stabbed. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Oh, yeah. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Oh. Just that he saw things no man should ever see. Mm hmm. No. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. Seem like that. Yeah, I, I want to use Plunderer's Instinct. I can't use it. Are there any other collectibles over here? I gotta find some stuff. Maybe up here? No. Okay. 
pallet. Um, <clears throat> so I was gonna say, <laughs> every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. Nearly there. <laughs> Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. Let me. Hold on a second. What's back here? Nothing. Okay. What was I just... Oh, right. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. I think this is it. Up there. Oh, okay. we got we got to go exploring. So, no way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. There, there probably okay. are. Um, so I was gonna say, no way. I like movies. Bro, well, said the same thing like three times. <laughs> There's probably other collectibles, but I I didn't want to. Kind of sit back and explore. I'll explore. I'll probably do another playthrough. I found the rate though, so I'm excited for that. I think that's what they wanted me to find. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes, Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people. No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Ooh, there's the furnace. It's a tea. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! <clears throat> uh, when we're seeing her with the face sucking. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah, that's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Or if it's Liba, who's like watching them. Huh? Yo. You coming? Or is it Frank Stone? Uh, yeah, be right there. No, the world may never know. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, get off me! Get off me! I knew gotcha. she was going to show up. Not cool, Bonnie. <laughs> Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> Look, she has a t-shirt on, too. 
What are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate. Bro, you she know? gave you money and, for the uh, camera. And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh no, no, no. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Linda? Bonnie's going to do what Bonnie's going to do. I don't care if she tags along. Let's be relaxed. Hell yeah. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. Hey. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not going to get up to any funny business, because that's just gross. Okay? <laughs> don't. Don't do it. Well, we know that she survives because she had the well, character okay. that we're playing we as in 2024. Stand around or are we going to make a movie? Time is money, right? And she survives too. Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Not the, oh, we got a whole party. Well, hold on. This. Oh, Wonder's Instinct. Go back out here. Explore. Woo. There's one thing in there. Okay. Right in here. Okay. Is there a back entrance? Oh. So that's stuck. We need something to pry it open then. Oh, there's a ladder well over here. Broken ladder well. Oh, nothing over here. Oh, this is where he went under and uh, under. Okay, I see. Oh. Wait, is it really still there? Dude, the crowbar's still there. Yo. Okay, cool. Now we go open this. Use item. Nice. Hey, we got another piece. What an oh, the Oni mask. She finally has come back to me. Happy. Got Oni. Ooh. Nice. Cool. I'm kind of curious what those trinkets are for, unless they're just collectibles. I don't know. Alright, sorry guys. Sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Let's go party.
You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's... different. How do I get over there? I need that piece. Maybe if we once we power it on, we can get it. It's locked. Okay, I'm guessing once we get things powered on in here, we'll be able to turn it on. All right, let's go. We need to go this way. Yeah, I guess Frank Stone was standing right there. Up there. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? <laughs> Old Mike's school ready. filming right here. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. The lighting too. <laughs> and action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. Totally felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but I did. Don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at high maze anyway. How'd I do? Hey, you were good. All right, let's, let's just be nice. Be nice. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. <laughs> Hot damn, kids. Oh, that she was scared fun. me, dude. I was like, she came out of nowhere. Okay? Yeah, oh. better than half the films I see in New yeah. York. I mean, one of them was just a five hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously, I'm impressed. Mm. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. 
Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. But we're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell Ooh, me how noble spicy. it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? Damn. I liked it better when you were gone. Dang. Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. So... I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me, also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind... Or, uh, Frank Stone himself? ...all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Ah, rats. What's up? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. Whoa! Ain't that something? Oh. Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? Ooh. Only one way to find out. Let's, Let's go check it out. Yeah. You see our little Frankie boy, what he was up to. My dad would kill me if you knew Just for I was the entrance right to the now. machine shop. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night. We're in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, oh, there's something up there. I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he's so 
could have started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. What's in here? Oh, oh. What is this? Oh, it's a clown. Not this way. Why is it always clowns? <laughs> yes, his laugh. That's so cool. <laughs> Dude, the clown's laugh when he gets stunned is so funny. Oh yeah, I got the key. Forgot about that. We get up that way. Is there a way to get up from this side? Wait, I climb up this? Oh, I see. If I could like uh, move it through here, maybe. Just walked up the steps. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bounce across here, jump across here, jump across here. A weird way to jump. Wait, why can't I move? Jump? Oh, okay. Huh. This. Ooh, yeah, another trinket. Oh. The hatchet, uh, Huntress's hatchet. They're a Destin Shard design. Very cool. Now we go this way.
Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Frank Stone's machine yes, shop, yeah. baby. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? If it's even possible to get up there. Let's find a way. Come on. <laughs> He's like, uh, no. Gotta be a way to get up there. Should open the door, right? Anything down here? what Robert found. Broken? Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <sighs> oh, it's a generator. Oh. Hey, can I ask you something, man? It's cool. Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way. That... I want a few minutes alone with Chris. Spending a lot of time with my. Alright, look. The truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris. And it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault she's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. Ooh. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah. Unfortunately, it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. And let's go scrounging. There's the generator. Super cool. Haha. <laughs> He even has the same look, the new look with the... Dude, that's awesome.
This might work with the generator. Oh, we need two parts, okay. That's what I was gonna ask, because I was like, is that the only part we need? Maybe there's something useful in there. We need to find some parts. You just break the window and go through that way. Looks like it needs power. I think this is where he was working in the video. Frank Stone. Could help with the generator. Oh, got an alternator of some sort. Cool. Basically done. Just gotta finish the repairs. Let's go repair the generator. And then exit through the gate. While holding R2 to repair the generator, skill checks will appear. When it passes over the success zone, hitting the skill check. Missing this a failure removes some. Repair progress. Hey, it's like DVD. <laughs> you get this many skill checks when you're preparing. <laughs> A great skill check. Got it. Nice. Nice job. Thanks. Generator powered. It didn't make the sound effect that it's complete. That would've been funny if it did. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Ooh, we gotta go up here. over here <sighs> can't believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon Okay, what have we here? Ooh, we got something to find. Our collectibles. So, what do you unlock, little key? Break stone, ooh. anything yep it's got a label on it f stone holy shit you think this could be a real connection to frank stone oh man more pallets let's see if the key unlocks the box car 
Still need to go up. Oh. Man, they got up there fast. I'll go first. Easy is one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Balls. Got you. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. <laughs> Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... Is that a... Yeah. And it's got friends. Oh shit. This is insane. Mill Rice Notebook, Cedar Steel Corporation, Machine Shop Repair, Cedar Hills, Oregon. Ooh, we're in Oregon now. Who are these other people? Parker D, no, want to get close. Feel very, every, every blow, hear their screams. S, their E. This time, make it fast. Better control for the next small cuts. Keep clean, taste it. Oh, he's like all the weapons. That's the hillbillies. Oh. Creature forged. Creature pours to purge the world. Use what's at hand. No, not what I see at night. Fire, terror, cut and fit. A hatch. This must be how Stone got in and out. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. son and friend murdered. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Stone of Cedars Hills, like the drugstore. William Calhoun and his friend Joyce Barton died after their car crash in Coughlin. Deputies have been working tirelessly over the half now. Calhoun's car was parked when it left the road, indicating the involvement of a third party. News of another murder in our peaceful community represents a shock to us all. First all, coming so soon in the week of the July killing of widow Dorothy Clay, but as in the, that episode when Mrs. Clay's nephew Elvin was caught and convicted following a rapid investigation of Sheriff Kusick, we must all hope for very swift and interesting. Stone's victims never found her. They never found her. 
I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. <laughs> His face. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. No, you can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back That's a hatch. Off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? Facts. But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. Jump through the hatch. We gotta go. We should wait outside until Robert comes back. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been like obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. So? So it doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. It feels like it's your movie. Mmm. We're making this movie together. It doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second one. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Mm. Uh, hi, mate. A point. I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. <coughs> oh, excuse right me. Right now? We're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. And then, as soon as we're done, it's you and me again, all the way. I'm sure we can talk about that. Okay. Yeah, sure. I appreciate that you'll hear me out. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there. Promise. I'll be dead soon. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> huh. Is there a reason I should be? You? <laughs> <laughs> Some shit's about to go down. I know it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit.
Oh, they're getting transported to the other world. Oh, shit. What is it? Oh, shit. Oh. Or confront. Confront. Bro. Did she just go to Dead by Daylight? She went to the world. Oh, she coming to DVD? 